Hello folks. I'm here in what's sort of like a little botanic garden uh, next to Washington National Cathedral in Washington, D.C. And uh, here's a little video I've been wanting to do for, for some time. And uh, this is how to tell the difference between a bald cypress and a dawn redwood. And uh, yeah, so uh, bald cypress trees are, um, so both are in the cypress family. Redwoods, obviously, as the name implies, uh, they are related to the, uh, the coast redwoods of California, but this species, uh, Metasequoia glyptostroboides, um, is native to China, and it's not in the same genus, but it is um, in the redwood uh, subfamily. And um, then th these are obviously cypresses, so they are in the same family, and uh, people get them confused a lot. And it, uh, dawn redwoods really do look like bald cypress, so here is how to tell the difference. So you can see there, this is a bald cypress, and this is an ancient bald cypress. Obviously it doesn't have any knees because it's planted right in the ground. And again, the common myth is that they can only grow in, in, wa in standing water or something like that. That is not true. And uh, they most certainly uh, can, can, can grow on a hillside, just like this one. You can see it's a pretty big hillside right here, not near any water sources. So yeah, this is an ancient one. And uh, you can see that beautiful, gorgeous tree. So here, let, let me just take one of these leaves for comparison. And uh, so let's start with bark. The bark here, you can see it's, it's sort of grayish um, and it's got like this grayish color to it. And it's very, the trunk stays pretty, uh, you know, doesn't really taper out very much. And, um, you know, occasionally in water it'll taper out like towards the base, it'll get thicker. But um, yeah, I mean, it, it's grayish and it's just got, it's sort of lined and it's got these fissures in it, but um, it's pretty, you know, pretty straight and uh, the lines go pretty straight down the trunk. Not, not, not really very knotted or, um, and it, it doesn't really, you know, taper out very much. Then over here, you can see this tree is quite the opposite. This is the Dawn Redwood Metasequoia glyptostroboides. And uh, as the name implies redwood, it has actual red wood. So that's a big difference for the two. You can see that trunk very neat and, uh, you know, just like a lot, two lines are there. And uh, this trunk's very, um, you know, tapers out a lot towards the base. Then as far as leaves go, let's take a look at this. You can see, got this one in my fingers. That is a Dawn Redwood leaf. That is a bald cypress leaf. Dawn Redwood leaves are bigger. So um, they are very similar, very feather-like, but they are, uh, Dawn Redwood is bigger. So yeah, that's a little uh, video how to tell the difference. Uh, Dawn Redwood has bigger leaves and um, also sort of a little bit thicker and uh, red bark versus gray bark sort of uh, tapers out towards the base, gets really wide at the base, and it's got sort of like stringy bark and, and it's red, whereas this has uh, gray bark and it's not. So thanks for watching. Have a good one, folks. I would tell the difference between a Dawn Redwood and a Bald Cypress. And they also both develop knees, which is a, a, di a different thing that makes them uh, similar. So have a good one, folks.